Dodgers putting their four game win streak on the line. Bottom two, LA up two to nothing. Bases loaded, two out Fred Lewis. Sharp ground ball to the right side. Jeff Kent diving stop throw from the outfield grass to get Lewis to end the inning. It's worth another look. Dodgers keep their two zip lead. That's the count top six. After a rough start, Barry Zito settles in. Zito gets Kent. Dodgers still up two to nothing. Zito, 10 strikeouts in seven. Top seven. Dodgers up two to one. Zito in a jam. Gets Andy LaRoche to ground out the second to end the threat. Bottom seven with a man on third. Lewis singling up the middle. Jose Castillo, come on home. We got a tie game. Lewis one for five. Two batters later, they're two aboard, and it's Randy Wynn, former Mariner great, up the middle, goes under Kent's glove into center. Lewis will score. Giants go up 3-2 and get the victory 5-2 as Barry Zito gets the win. So the Diamondbacks will continue to hold the NL West lead as they have since April 6th, largely on the backs of the division record, 28 against the division. Scott Hairston and the Padres trying to change that and on a 1 2 breaking ball. Hairston splashed down. Padres up 2 0, underwater ball. It's a souvenir, but really, now you're wet for the rest of the game and it's the third inning. Mm. You got a decision to make there. Jake Peavy's just been okay this year. The Cy Young winner, much better on Saturday. Five and five coming in, but he was good and he was economical. Six pitch at bat to Miguel Montero. Davis breaks his bat, a one pitch at bat, then Emilio Bonifacio, four pitch, Peavy through the fifth, then it's Hairston popping off yet again, his second of the game, 11th of the year. 3 0 ERA in his last four starts against Boston, and of course, three of Manny Ramirez's last four hits against the Moose, home run. So, what does the Moose do in the top of the first? Plunk Manny, two aboard. Next batter, Mike Lowell goes down swinging. You see out of a jam, six innings scoreless, five strikeouts. Bottom two with two aboard. Melky Cabrera taking the Justin Masterson pitch through the right side. Jason Giambi's heading for home. Bobby Meechus waving him in. And Giambi is safe. Yankees take a 1 0 lead. Top nine. Red Sox down 2 0. Mariano Rivera in to close. With one aboard, it's Manny getting hit by a pitch for the third time in the game. Sixth hit batsman of the contest. Next batter, Lowell lines it to right. JD Drew come on home. And Boston cuts the lead to two to one with nobody out. Next batter, Kevin Euclid hit by a pitch. Seventh hit batsman of the game, tying a modern major league record for combined hit batsman in a game. Now they're loaded for Coco Crisp, and he goes down swinging for one out. Next batter, Jason Veritak, the captain, pops it up. That's an infield fly for out number two, and it's down to Julio Lugo. And he goes down swinging. Rivera throws 25 pitches on the way to his 23rd save of the season. The Yankees win. Here's Mo. The Cubs and Cardinals in the middle of a pennant race in the Central. Lou Pinellas Cubs, best record in the National League. Kyle Loesch cruising for the Cardinals until the third. Hadn't given up a hit until Mark DeRosa takes him into the people. 11th of the season. Cubs up 1-0. 2-0 now. Rick Ankeel. He's on a 35 home run pace. Not bad as an outfielder. 18th of the season, cuts the lead in half, it's 2-1. Ryan Ludwig up in the sixth. The revelation this guy's been. Down the left field line, past Ramos Ramirez, Albert Pujols scores on Ludwig's 57th RBI of the season. It's 2-all. Ramirez also has 57 RBIs. At least he does now, because that's a two-run shot. Appeared to be insurance at the time. 4-2 Cubs on his 15th. Top eight, same score, first and third. Jim Edmonds is tagging when DeRosa hits it deep to right. Ludwig's under it. He's firing. Yadier Molina's got the plate covered. And Edmonds, the former Cardinal, is meat on a plate. Bottom ninth, Kerry Wood. Walk, walk, double walk. Base is loaded for Ann Keel. That's your game winner. Adam Kennedy and Chris Duncan score, and the Cards win. Five to four. In the Phillies, NL East leading Philadelphia, 11 up and only four down in its last 15 against New York. Bottom four with two aboard, it's Ryan Howard abusing the John Main offering. Howard with his 23rd of the season, NL best 76 RBI, we're tied at three. Bottom six, Main facing Howard again. The one two pitch is thrown by Main, and then he grabs his non throwing arm after the pitch. Main immediately reaching for that arm. He left with a cramp in that left forearm. Top eight, the Mets rally. Tom Gordon, the wild pitch to Marlon Anderson. Damien easily slides home, and we're tied at four. Two batters later, with runners on second and third, Brian Schneider. Pinch hit, double to right. 
That'll score Carlos Delgado and Anderson. The Phillies' four-game win streak is no more as the Mets come back and get the victory at the bank by a final count of 9-4. to four. 21 games above 500 view for the first time in franchise history. Andy Sonnenstein 3-0 in his last six starts coming in. Top two were scoreless. Billy Butler, sharp ground ball to the right side. I can ignore it. Iwamura diving, stopping, and throwing. Testing the adage, good D leads to good O. Bottom two, Iwamura at the dish. Battling Zach Grinke, Iwamura. Hard line drive to center. Joey Gathright, solid effort, but the ball gets off the tip of his glove. That'll score two. Raise up two to nothing. Plenty of run support for Sonnenstein. Top five with a runner on first. David DeJesu steps in. The comebacker handled by Sonnenstein. He quickly gets it a second to start the 1-6-3 DP. Sonnenstein, seven shutout innings. Bottom seven, Ben Zobrist. That is good wood. His third home run of the season in front of 30,400 strong. The Rays win three to nothing. It's Tampa Bay's eighth shutout already this season. Indian Twins, Cleveland desperate to put the brakes on its six game slide. Grady Sizemore helping the cause. Top two were no longer tied at two. Sizemore launching off Kevin Slow, a 22nd homer of the season, 100th of his career, drive up 5-2. Bottom six, Twins down 5-4. Indians bullpen worse in the majors at 5.03 with the ERA. Alexi Casilla double off the baggie in right. His 10th double of the season scores two. Twins take the lead. Tom Masti pitched one third of an inning for Earn. Rafael Perez on as the inning continues. Base is loaded. He's in the dirt. Perez, the wild pitch scores Casilla. Indians bullpen absolutely falling apart. Two batters later, there's loaded for Brennan Harris who singles to left. Joe Maurer scores. Justin Morneau come on home. Eric Wedge is stunned. Joe Nathan with his 24th save and 26. Roy Holiday and John Lackey combined have gone 10 and 1 their last 13 starts. And Lackey looked very good early. In the second, Brad Wilkerson, Scott Rowan, Lyle Overbay all go away. Lackey struck out the side. He struck out seven for the game. Got to some trouble in the next inning, though. Marco Scudero is up. And Marco Scudero is on to load the bases. Next up, Alex Rios. That's a knock. Three for five on the day for him. Adam Lynn, Joe England both come in to score, and the Jays are up 2-0. Roy Holiday, three-run lead in the fourth against Vladimir Guerrero. Vlad is dangerous. Whew. Golf on that thing. There's a little something for the peeps. Pick that thing right off the plate. Two-run shot is 14th. It's 3-2 Jays. Vernon Wells, two-run shot off Lackey. Gets those two runs right back into the rocks out there. Lackey gave up six runs, five earned in sixth. It's 5-2 Jays. Holiday cruising the hook will bring you back. Jays win. Holiday gets his 10th win of the season. He's six and one his last nine starts. Tigers and the Mariners at the safe. R.A. Dickey and the M's nine and five under new skipper Jim Riggleman. Top five. Tigers up two to nothing. Runners on first and second. Placido Polanco broken back single to left. Dana Sardina thrown out at the plate. Raul Abanez has got a gun. He knows how to use it. Jeff Clements, great block at the dish. Ends out of the inning. Bottom six. Clement facing Armando Galarraga. Check out Clement crush the low inside fastball deep and gone his third of the season. The ends are down just two to one. That's the count bottom eight with a runner on second. Fernando Rodney has to turn and watch it fly off the bat of Clement. First career multi-homer game. He drives in all three M's runs and Seattle now with a shot to win a fourth straight series. 3-2 the final. <laughs> the Pirates and Brewers in homage to the Negro Leagues. Brewers sporting the Milwaukee Bears uniforms. Pirates going with the Pittsburgh Crawfords. Good game. Bottom eight. Jason Kendall grounds up the middle. Jack Wilson gets the throw. Jose Bautista tags Bill Hall. Then to first to get Kendall out. He's napping. That's a 6-5-3 double play. That is not Brewer baseball. Sloppy base run. This is Eric Gagne on the mound in the ninth. Ryan Dumit to right center field. Corey Hart sliding in to make the great catch. Brewers get out of the ninth. Bottom half. Two on, one out. Pirates intentionally walked Ryan Braun to set up the double play and bring up Prince Fielder, and he delivers. Walk off, 2-1. It's time for top plays. Number 10, Arena League. Colorado Crush battling the San Jose Sabercats. Crush trailing late. Onside kick recovered by Steve Watson. Watson breaks a few tackles, and he's in. 
We'll have more from this game in just a bit. Way to go, Watson. How can you be sure? Because it says so. Oh, number nine, UFC <laughs> light heavyweight championship. Rampage Jackson defending his title. Forrest Griffin, a too much for the champ. Griffin, a unanimous winner. Number eight, MLS San Jose battling Chivas USA school. Listen, the 88th minute, Antti Rosa unleashing the free kick. Oh, that was gorgeous. Rosa getting it done. Astros and Braves, Hunter Pence grounded a short. Yunel Escobar ranging to his right. Long throw. Mark Teixeira stretching every inch to get him at first. And there goes Teixeira nimbly. Oh. Number six, Royals raise. Billy Butler grounder to the right side. Akinora Iwamura is there. He also drove in two in this game. His Rays are the best in all of baseball, getting the win three to nothing. All right, A's and White Sox, Kurt Suzuki foul pop up down the line. Jermaine died, great catch here, and really the bonus is that he went in and said hi to the folks. Public relations is really important for a ball player. Oh, well, sure. Good to know your fan base. And not land on them. Number four, Nationals Reds, Austin Kearns, deep blast to center. Jay Bruce giving chase at the wall. Oh, great effort. Reds get the victory three to two. Couldn't see him because of the camouflage. Number three, back to San Jose. Dutton fires to Quinney. He's able to hang on to it despite the suplex by Cleveland Thomas. Okay, we were going back. You're right. Number two, Indians twins, Casey Blake, round to the right side. Alexi Casilla ranging into the hole, makes the stop, leaves, throws the first for the out. Twins get the victory nine to six. Casilla. Ridiculous web game. That happens a lot for them these days. Marlins Rockies, we just saw this. We're going to see it again, and it's still not safe. It's that guy. I don't know. Is that leaning too far for a foul ball? That's a little too That's far. That's borderline. It looks like he the, left his glasses or the something. The belt on buckle is on the railing. Oh. You're in peril. Rockies. Baseball team resides where? Greater Tampa. You got it. Tampa's 49th home game. They played only 38 on the road, but they're taking advantage of it, and they're doing it with two outs. Carlos Pena doubles into the right field corner. 20,587 on hand. Better. Tampa, you can do better than that, though. James Shields, he pitched well again. Seven innings, two earned, eight Ks. Then Evan Longoria. Yep. How's 281, 16 homers, 52 RBIs, great defense, cool dude, and no all-star game sound. Sounds crazy to me. Bottom four, raise up 5-2, two, two men on, still getting it done with two outs. B.J. Upton, that's a fair ball. Shields is a winner. The Rays will go for four in a row against Kansas City on Monday, then go to New York. Yankee Stadium, Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN, New York and Boston, both chasing the Rays. Alex Rodriguez, personal life, making headlines. Bottom two off Tim Wakefield is 536. Seems that distractions only lead to increased focus for A-Rod. Such the case Sunday. Multiple sources say A-Rod's wife will file for divorce Monday. That's career home run number 536. Ties him with Mickey Mantle, 13th on the all-time list. Tim Wakefield strikes out Jose Molina with the high knuckleball. Molina doesn't like it. Joe Girardi was ejected. Wakefield came into this thing one for eight in his last ten against the Yankees. Bottom seven game tied. Melky Cabrera, the chopper. Dustin Pedroia throws home and gets Robinson Cano. Kevin Cash, the tag. Pedroia, an all-star. Top nine. Runner on third. Manny Ramirez didn't start because, well, he's batting a buck 82 in his last 20 games. The Yankees say, how are we going to pitch it to him? Well, they say Manny comes up there, and he pretty much comes up there looking for a pitch. And against Mariano Rivera, he's looking at two, and he's looking at one, two, three. Did not see the pitch he liked. Yankee fans love it. Rivera, give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Bottom 10, rookie Brett Gardner in for Johnny Damon, who's headed to the DL. Slow roller, that wins it. He, the last Yankee rookie with a walk-off hit against the Red Sox, Derek Jeter in 96. Yankees, 5-4 winners. Baseball Dodgers in San Francisco. Giants, worst home record in the game, 17-27. and 27. L.A. just one half game behind division-leading Arizona. Top one, 0-2 pitch, one on. James Loney to the wall. Andre Ethier, who went three for four scores, and the Dodgers are up 1-0 on Matt Kane. We go bottom four. Giants down 3-1. Eric Stoltz, Rich Aurelia. Advantage, Aurelia. Solo, his eighth, also his 1500th career hit. 3-2 game, Stoltz couldn't get out of the inning. Top five. 1-2 pitch to Loney, who went 
two doubles, three RBIs. Joe Torre said afterwards of Loney, he looks overmatched and fires off a double and gets the job done. Fifth win in their last six games, L.A. 5-3. With the Dodgers winning that game in San Francisco, Arizona must beat San Diego to stay in first place in the NL West. Showed you a B.J. Upton swimming double earlier in Sports Center. This is brother Justin. Holy shnikes, 484 feet. This was rising as it went into the restaurant. Look at this thing. Longest home run in the majors this year. Upton's 11th. Randy Johnson, 10 strikeouts and six and a third. Can Brandon Lyons save career win 289? Kevin Kuzman off on third with nobody out. Doesn't look good. Great yacker gets Chase Headley. Then Khalil Green, infield in. That works out perfectly. Two outs. One out to go for the Lion King. Here's the pitch to Brian Giles. That'll do it. Arizona stays in first place. They play at Washington for three, and then at Philly for three before the All-Star break. St. Louis for the Cards and Cubs. Home team, two and a half behind Chicago in the NL Central. Now, Mark DeRosa, RBI single, scored a Ramos and Ramirez in the second. In the third, two on two out, Ramirez, an all-star selectee, singles out Todd Wellemeyer. Reed Johnson scores, and the Cubs are up 2 nothing. Bottom three, two on, two outs. All-star selectee Albert Pujols reaches out and touches the Sean Marshall pitch. Does it have enough? Mm -hmm. No, DeRosa there. Pujols, one for four, he's batting 350. Ramirez sack made it 3 nothing, And then Ryan Ludwig, all-star selectee off Marshall. We're not in Toledo anymore. His 17th, 3-1 game. D. Lee double made it 4-1. And then all-star selectee Giovanni Soto. Does the name Ruby Begonia ring a bell? His 15th. The Cubs get 16 hits. They win it. Grab a Snickers. We're not going anywhere for a while. Great Northwest Mariners season getting even weirder, or, or is it desperate, the word I'm looking for Sunday. Seattle hosting Detroit. That's backup catcher Jamie Burke. That's backup catcher Jamie Burke, making his Major League pitching debut, assuming an unusual position after assuming his usual position. Uh, the Mariners had four pitchers left, but R.A. Dickey he threw 100 pitchers Saturday. He volunteered. Morrow pitched four the last five days. Rhodes woke up with a sore arm, and Silva is starting Tuesday. Brooke, Burke's resume, four innings pitch in the minors. He hit 86 on the gun in this one, but Miguel Cabrera, the first batter he faced, hit that. So the Tigers have a runner in scoring position. Ichiro even came up to manager Riggleman and said, I'll, I'll pitch. That and then, cool. Yeah, the slider gets away to Marcus Timms, and the next pitch he goes sack fly, and Michael Holloman, who came in to pinch run for Cabrera, scores. So Burke takes the loss. The Tigers 2-1 in 15 innings. Now, since divisional play began in 1969, only three positional players have taken the loss in a major league game the last 19 years ago. Only one positional player has earned a win in that time, and that was the Rockies' Brent Maine, no relation to Kenny Maine, who wrote a book. <laughs> uh, all, the only thing he didn't have was the incredible head of hair of Bjorn Borg. Two-hour, 50-minute rain delay in the bottom of the eighth. After the delay, Ryan Howard strikes us. That's nothing new. Struck out four times on Sunday, 123 Ks already this year, 199 single season record after a walk to Pat Pearl. Bases loaded. Pedro Feliz against Aaron Howman. Good pitch by Howman. 96 miles an hour on the black, and the Mets escape the jam. Ninth inning transition. Well, we already told you it's going to extra, so not a lot of drama here. Sorry. Billy Wagner. Oh, yeah, there is drama. Jason Worth. His 12th of the year. Oh, Billy Wagner, bless his heart. He must be the sickest man in America. Look at the Mets' reaction. A similar reaction in the newsroom. 12th <laughs> inning. <laughs> Fernando Tatis is a current major leaguer. Let's get that perfectly clear. Two-run Jackson. Mets. Winner, winner. They had a little rain delay of nearly two hours. Bottom one, no score, two outs. Chipper Jones, Wandy Rodriguez. It's Sunday, so like Sonny in the Apostle, Chipper's got the Holy Ghost power. He went three for five. He's batting 388. That was his 18th. Bottom eight, Braves down 6-4. Bases loaded, two outs. Jose Valverde against Yunel Escobar. He singles, two score, game tied. And now we go to extras, and we'll stay there for quite a while. 13th inning, top, tied, runner on third, two outs. Brad Osmus. Oh, fouls the pitch oh, off. Braves catcher Brian McCann. He bobbles the ball, hangs on for the out. Concentration, not just a board game. Osmus felt like it went off too much gear to still be good, but the umpire said, no, we're going we're gonna to let it stand. 15th inning, top. 
Same score. Runners on second and third one. Ty Wigington drills it and looking. Escobar, I mean, you could separate your shoulder on that. Mm, that's a great play. Great catch. Terrific. Bottom 17. We're still tied, or the game would be over. <laughs> Bases loaded, no out. Tim Burdick. Three straight singles, make it four. Mark Teixeira brings home Gregor Blanco. The Braves win 7-6. Where was Bobby Cox during all this? Well, he got kicked out. Of course. Yeah. I could see a uh, CC pitch maybe on Tuesday if things go according to plan. Pirates trying to avoid getting swept by the Brewers. Ryan Braun, three for five, 21st home run. Milwaukee, they knew, they heard the rumors on Sunday, so you know that had to get them jacked for this game. Top of the second, two outs, bases loaded, all-star reserve. Nate McLeod, what a great year he's having. 56 RBIs after that three-run double. Bucket, who's tied the game at four. Bottom four, the hottest hitter in baseball this week, J.J. Hardy. Second home run of the game. Don't forget, he had 26 last year. That's now 12 this year. The Brewers, 11-6, playing good baseball. And C.C. Sabathia's cover back with you on the Sports Center. Hope you had a great holiday weekend. Back to work now, Sparky. John Danks on the mound for the White Sox, home to the Athletics. Danks. Man, six and a third, nine Ks with Chris Martin is to Coldplay. John Danks was to the White Sox on Sunday. To the ninth, Scott Linebrink in line for the save. Bartender, Jack. Uh, that must have been a Jack and Ginger. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Maybe a Jack and Sprite. Not quite enough for Jack Cuss and Linebrink's first save of the season. Sox have won 11 of their last 13 home games. Three with KC starting Tuesday, three with Texas before the break. Twins chasing the Sox, one back. Indians chasing their tails. They've lost seven straight, but they got Cliff Lee. Hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> Drive up 3-1, bottom seven. Lee in trouble, one out, bases loaded. Nick Punto, RBI single. Craig Monroe, who walked, scores. It's 3-2, bases still loaded. And then Lee against the next batter, Denard Spann, and he walks him. So uncharacteristic control problems for Lee. Delman Young, who reached on an infield single, scores. And then the Minnesota small ball continues. Carlos Gomez, ground ball, only play for Andy Marte. First, Brendan Harris scores. Twins, 4-3. Seven innings, six hits, six Ks, four earned for Lee, who loses for the first time in nine starts because Joe Nathan was caffeinated. Two outs, and he gets Shin Suki's. Ryan Spielborgs and the Rockies have uh, won four straight against the Marlins. Bottom four, Rockies down 3-2. Mark Hendrickson pitching. There's Spielborg's broken bat blooper into center. Brad Hoff and Rocky pitcher Aaron Cook score. And the Rockies take a 4-3 lead in this high-scoring series. As Spielborg is tagged out to end the inning. Top of the six, 4-3 Colorado, but here comes Florida. Cody Ross off Aaron Cook. Two runs will score, and the Marlins take a 5-4 lead. More Cody Ross. Good year for Cody. 15th home run. Three for five, five RBIs. The Marlins up 7-4, go on to win 10-5. Sunday's top 10 plays. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Tour de France, stage two. This Thor doesn't have a hammer. His legs are enough. Thor Hushoff wins the second stage. Spaniard Alejandro Valverde retains the yellow jersey, which I've called the yellow jacket in previous editions. PGA Tour was in D.C. Congressional Anthony Kim's going to make the Ryder Cup team. He wins. He's now sixth in the standings. At eight, A's White Sox. Mark Ellis, fly ball. Carlos Quentin, not a, hey, now you're an all-star. Get your glove on. Go play. Quentin makes the catch, and the White Sox win the game, 4-3. More defense, defense, defense. Number seven, Carlos Skian off the glove of Adrian Beltre. Unieski Betancourt picks it up. Got an arm. Great play, but not done yet. Ichiro showing why he's an all-star. One, two, breaking ball. Center, short Trouble. right field. Here comes Ichiro. Yes, sir, he made the catch. Eighth consecutive all-star game, flashing some leather. Red Sox Yankees at number six, bottom six, Bobby Abreu, Julio Lugo to Dustin Pedroia, Derek Jeter, 6-4 double play. Lugo unable to, to field the game winning grounder in the 10th, the Yankees 5-4. Cinco, Mets, Phillies, Mets fans have seen uh, Andy Chavez make a lot of great defensive plays the last couple of years. Look at that. Mets go on to win 4-2 in 12 innings.
Dustin up to big hitter. Lama. At two, arena game, Grand Rapids and James McPherson's ability to throw from his knees better than your ability to throw from your knees. It's Kenny Higgins. <laughs> Just I'll throw it up there. Grand Rapids beats Chicago. The Rush had beaten them twice during the regular season. They're going to move on to play San Jose. What a fit. What a game. Take a holiday in Spain. Send your worries down the drain. But Alan Burris is the Counting Crows. Rafael Nadal was to sports on Sunday. He wins an epic against Roger Federer. He is truly.